Right, okay, so we're going to pick up, up where we la last left off on our uh, the last video. So we've got a bare bones theme here, doesn't look very nice. Um, so the first thing I want to do is to go into the full site editing experience. And I just want to explain a few things before I get started about um, some of the elements. Now because we're using uh, the release candidate for WordPress 6.3, um, we've got access to the, this interface. So previously we had template parts that were, um, has now been renamed to patterns. Um, we've got templates and we've also got some other different um, interactive sort of elements. Um, what I'm more interested in at the moment is just do, dealing with the header and setting up the footer and getting started with a, with a rough design. So the first thing I want to do is to go into my patterns, previously known as template parts and I want to go to my header and I want to pick up the header that's already there and we're going to start editing that so by default WordPress is going to take you through the onboarding process um, I'm going to leave that for the moment and yeah explain this interface a little bit so the most important thing I want to explain is the uh, list view so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be jumping around um, while I'm editing this so that Probably the most important part is going to be the list view. Now, if you if you're uh, familiar with like layers, um, like Photoshop or anything like that, you'll know that you've you when you've got layers, you can um, nest things within layers, and it's the same with blocks. You have what's known what I would call as a containing block, and we nest things uh, within the containing blocks. So the a, a containing block would be something like a group block. Um, a row is actually a containing block stack um, a cover block is containing block and they allow you to have they're called inner blocks um, so they're kind of nested within the main container block a parent child effectively uh, but you have an immediate child um, and this although this is an inner block it's it's still a, a parent of an inner child block um, of another row uh, so yeah navigating around here is going to be quite important um, just to explain a row uh, a row, what a row does is it, it allows you to um, it aligns any blocks that are inner blocks um, to align them horizontally. So you can see that we've got a we've got a logo here, we've got a title and a tag. Now that is all held within a, a row block. So we've got our logo and a group. Now a group is kind of like runs the flow of the document top to bottom. Now a group is um, very similar to the opposite of a, a row. So with a group block, you can create, it, uh, you can change it to a stack, or you can change a, a row to a stack. And basically, a stack block is the opposite to a row. So rather than aligning everything horizontally, it aligns everything vertically. So I can just demonstrate that quickly. Uh, and again, I just want to sort of dis explain this kind of UI. Um, so we have another element on the right hand side, which is called our sidebar. So if I just close this down at the moment, just to give us some real estate. So we can open up the sidebar by accessing our settings um, and this is specific to the template or the block that you've got selected um, which is this group block here which is housing our title and tagline so you can see along here we've got um, three icons and that allows us to transform the existing block that we've got selected and uh, we can either turn it into a row and you see it aligns everything horizontally or you can turn it into a stack and it aligns everything vertically. Um, there's not a lot of difference between a group and the stack. The logic's the same. Um, the only difference is you get slightly different justification. And even that doesn't do much in a group or a stacked block. So, um, yeah, just be aware of that. But this is like bleeding edge stuff, so things might change in the future. Um, another thing I wanted to show is that when you're editing... Um, the settings for a block uh, you access it through this icon here and weirdly enough you've got another two tabs you've got another settings tab which is this sort of cog and it's kind of like you've got settings and then you've got settings for the for the group of block or for the block you've got selected uh, which is a bit weird but you know that may change in the future but uh, let's just consider the the settings and then the sub settings for the block um, and this allows you to set some stuff up. Um, you've also got per block 
the styles. And the styles is exactly what it sounds. It's like the color, text, uh, padding, margins, dimensions. Um, and we'll be jumping around in these two mainly um, in the editing blocks and sub editing and the styles. So there is another um, element which is the global styles up here. So global styles is different to your, your block or your, your block styles which are here. Global styles are basically for the whole default of the whole site. Um, so if I wanted to change all of the typography type which we're going to do uh, shortly uh, while we're designing our header you can do that or you want to set up your color palette um, layout this is all going to be contained in your your group uh, sorry your global styles up here or it's accessible up here um, not only can you do it at a site level you can also do it per block level um, so if you want to change just purely your buttons I think by default the buttons will come in as big pills I'm going to at some point I'm going to change the a radius of those so that we can um, stylize the whole uh, site so it just keeps everything consistent so that's basically an overview of um, what we're going to be doing and where we're going to be mostly sort of uh, building stuff in so I'm going to close all this down a little bit there's just one other thing I wanted to explain about the group block um, so the group block is your friend it really is your it's the it's really going to sort of level up your game when, you, when you're editing these or uh, using the full site editing experience so I'm just going to go over the alignment setup um, and the settings for a, a group now if we go over to the settings you'll see it here that we've got uh, something called um, inner block uses content width now what does that mean so if if I just give you an example if I disable that um, it, what it means is any nested blocks or inner blocks within that um, you don't have control over any alignment we only have control if we select the, the inner font we only have control over justification and vertical alignment now if we go back to the parent and we select um, particularly on a group block if we set inner blocks use content width now if we go back to our nested block you can see we've got a new icon here which is our alignment now if we click the alignment we can see that we've got various widths set up we've got 620 width and max width and we've got wide so at the moment it's set to wide so that means it's um, it's spanning the whole width of my page if I just make some real estate it's showing it as full width now if I change that to wide 1000 pixels you can see that I'll bring it in to 1000 pixels now if we look at it responsibly we can see when we hit that 1000 it, it starts to shrink again so we've just set a maximum width um, and similarly you can set um, the 620 um, now if I go back to wide what you'll notice is that if we look at our group block settings we haven't set any content width so between you and me uh, if I just pop back to my row and we look at the alignment none max width 620 that pertains to the content width although it says none that is the content that's the max content width um, the wide obviously it shows as wide and we look at the the wide um, alignment there but we haven't set any settings here so you would question well where are these settings coming from where's 620 where's 1000 coming from well they in fact come from the global settings so if we have a look at our global settings over here and we look at layout we can see this is where the content and the wide is being set now you can do you can set these individually which I'll just quickly demonstrate that if I go back to my settings and I set this to say 800 and then so by default once you set the content it, it does the wide um, as well which makes sense you know you've got content your wide would would match but you can break beyond your wide as well so I'm going to make that a thousand so now that's set this block but only on this page if I added another block somewhere else it would pick up the global styles I'm only overriding this one block at the moment so if I close all this out you can see that if we have our row selected 
which is, I know that that's the row there. Um, we've now got a setting for 8,000 and 1,000. So I'm gonna leave it on 1,000, but I'm gonna be using these group blocks throughout the whole design. So I don't really wanna override just this one group block in my header and then have to set it all the time, every time when I use it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come back to the settings of that block. I'm gonna turn that off and then just turn it back on again. And now that will inherit the global styles. Um, just to prove that we can just, again, select our row, set it to 620. So those are coming from our global style settings. Now, just for consistency, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my global style settings so that I don't have to keep setting this on individual group blocks that I'm gonna be using throughout this editing experience. And I'm gonna make that 800 by 1000, yeah. So now if we come back to, if we close this out and we have a look at our, just make sure we're on a, our row and now that's taking it's inheriting our global styles so i don't i never really have to set the content widths all i need to do is just ensure that the enable block use content width is enabled and that will inherit from my group so um that's an overview of where we're at um and we're gonna hopefully won't need to explain the the where i'm where i'm navigating to in the back end or through my force site edit, editing experience um so just be aware that I'm just going to be jumping in and out of these while I'm designing. So, okay. So if you have any questions, do feel free to leave comments below. Um, give the video a like or share or subscribe. Um, and I'll see you in the next video.